so um, I came up with the idea of a homework tracker because I had a really hard time using a clipboard um, to track homework. Um, it's not so much using the clipboard and pen itself, but just as much as like walking around and making sure the students have it. And then after a while, I started having them put it in folders that hang on the wall with their student number on it um, so that I could easily see who was missing. Um, but the problem with that was that it was, I, I would take pictures of it and it would be hard to figure out who had their homework and who didn't. Um, so just for my purposes, and this might help other people too, I created a homework tracker um, and I have a link to it in the description. When you uh, install it on your workflow app, you wanna make sure that your list is a list of your students. Um, so I made a copy for that reason. Um, but for my students, um, if I run it, here's what happens. Um, it, it asks which mode I want to run it in, and you can remove this from your version if you don't like this, but I find that sometimes I'll check homework and then a student will randomly remember they find it um, in their desk or in their backpack, and I'll have to add them back to the list of people who have it. Um, but let's start with does not have it. And I can simply tap the names of people who don't have it and hit done. And then it puts it into a CSV file um, on my Dropbox. So within the workflow app, um, I tapped in those names the, of the people that didn't have their homework, and I hit OK, and that was it. Um, but in the workflow, you'll see that it saves that information to a file on my Dropbox. And that file, I've called it XHW4A. Um, you can call it whatever you want. Um, you can change those settings in the Dropbox. 4A is my class, so I call it 4A. Um, and when you open that up in Excel, it shows you a list of the students who uh, do not have their homework. You even see the mode listed here. Just That's so you know that you didn't mark people who had it. You mark people who didn't have it. Um, and it lists it by date. And this is just some test data, which is why uh, 117 shows up twice. Um, but that way, it's a really easy way to see you know who has their homework every day. You could use this same idea for classwork, too. Um, you could copy the workflow and change it slightly to make sure that you um, are doing it for classwork instead of homework. But I hope that's useful. Really quickly, I want to show you um, in the homework app, homework tracker app, that down here you'll see where I like to save it, where it appends to my Dropbox. You want to make sure you change the the title of the file to whatever you like. So this right now saves into my Dropbox into a folder called Gradebook and into a file called xhw.csv. And it'll add to that file every single time I use the app. Anytime I type in a new thing, it'll add the new date and the students that I have listed. Um, but you can change it to whatever you want. Um, I just like XHW because when I search for the file and I type in, if I were just to make it HW for homework, a lot of stuff would come up. But XHW will only bring me this result. So I put XHW so that it's a little easier um, to remember. So you change... Um, the file name there. You can also change it um, down here um, as well. Actually, I did this wrong. You have to make sure both of these are exactly the same. Um, otherwise, they'll save into different files. Um, so this file is going to say the same thing, and this file down here is going to say thing say the same thing. Um, I had 4A there before because that's the name of my class, um, but the one that I the, I copied this workflow and what I'm sharing with you on YouTube is just um, one without any of my personal information in it. Like you have to put in your own students over here. Um, I think I explained that earlier though. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and not too confusing.